This is Ubiqui's smallest, most affordable 10 gigabit gateway with Wi-Fi 7 built in and it runs Unify network. It's called the Unify Express 7 and it has one more important feature that the standard Unify Express is missing. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Bogdan Shperny, founder of Apex One IT, and we do small business IT. This is the new UX7. And if you're looking for better control of your network, better security with no monthly subscription, then this is a affordable first step into the Unify ecosystem. So let's unbox this guy, and I'll tell you if it's a good option as a Unify router gateway console for you, or if you should consider the previous model slightly cheaper. This is the Wi-Fi 6 Express or possibly the new UDR 7. There's an installation QR code. Here's the console itself. This comes in at less than one pound. The model number is UX7, so Unify Express 7 for Wi-Fi 7, of course. So it's about a one inch screen, just to give you different information right on the device. It does have ventilation on each side here, and it's quite a bit larger than the previous model. Okay, so that's the original UX. The UX7 comes in at 4.6 by 4.6 by 1.7 inches. Definitely beefier. The previous one didn't have any ventilation. And so this one should be a lot more powerful. All the ports are on the back. So first of all, of course, we have the reset button right there. And that's USB type C input for power and a 2.5 gigabit LAN port by default. And the WAN port, so from your internet modem, it's a 10 gig RJ45. Then we also have the power adapter and with the power cable. And this is about a two foot cable. The max power consumption should be 22 watts on here. And that's what this power brick provides. And this is a five volt, five amp power brick. And this I would say is about three feet. So you're looking about, you know, five feet from your nearest outlet. So let's go ahead and plug this in. And we see the Unify logo and it's booting up. And in the box, we still have a patch cable here. So they did not go cheap. This is their nice new braided kind of premium with ether lighting tips on here, roughly a foot long. While that's booting up, I'm going to use my own patch cable from my internet modem into that 10 gig WAN port. Now it's 10 gig, but with intrusion prevention turned on, this gives you 2.3 gigabits per second of throughput. So not that 10, but 2.3, which is still very good. Okay, so that's that feature that this new UX7 has that the previous model did not. And this is all without a monthly subscription. Okay, so it's telling me it's ready to be adopted or set up. And I'm actually also going to use this additional LAN port, right? It's not a PoE port, but you can use it to expand the ports. For example, with this Flex Mini 2.5, also recently released from Ubiquiti. So let's just plug that in. And now we have uh, four additional ports. I forgot one more thing in the box, which are these tiny little rubber feet. And that's just to place it underneath. So I'm setting this up right now and it's updating in the background. We'll take about five minutes. So let's put these on. Okay, and there's the rubber feet. We'll just help it not slide around as much. And you'll notice the screen actually changes for whatever orientation you have this in. So even upside down so-called. Right now, I don't have any clients connected to it. So zero clients mean devices like iPhones or computers. But of course, this has built-in Wi-Fi and it's Wi-Fi 7. So in terms of specs, what you need to know, this is two by two multi-user MIMO or MIMO just for that Wi-Fi 7 band. And then it's the same for the 2.4 gigahertz and five gigahertz uh, bands as well. So, and Wi-Fi 7, by the way, is the six gigahertz. So what that means is that you'll get faster throughput so let's get some devices connected and then I'll show you the Unify dashboard. Now I'm in the Unify dashboard, unify.ui.com, of course the Unify app. And with the Unify Express 7, you can also run a speed test. That's a speed test directly to the console itself, the Unify console. So you can click there to run it. So I'm, I'm at 
936, 834 up. I'm paying for one gig and right now I'm kind of uh, daisy chained here. So not getting my full potential. Uh, we can actually test it here right now. Okay, so it's showing ISP, your internet source prior, speed potential 89%. That sounds good. And this is actually the first thing that the original Express does not have, but that's that's not what I was thinking when I recorded the intro. The more important thing is if we go to settings and let's go security. So this is the firewall, their new firewall, which is pretty sweet, but let's look at the new feature here. So intrusion prevention. Right now it's disabled and by default it is disabled. What I would do is turn it on and detection mode should be notify and block. And you'll see it has 13 different types of detections that it's doing. Okay, you can see for those of you who are interested, these are all the different ones that it does. So I'm going to go ahead and turn on all of them. And let's apply the changes. Right, this is one of the benefits of Unify is having these detections. You're not paying any kind of subscription for any of this advanced features. Let's go to our Unify devices. You'll see it's getting ready meaning it's applying those updates. And we'll run a speed test again. And with intrusion prevention turned on, we should get the same speeds because it's ready to be up to 2.3 gigabits uh, per second throughput with the detection turned on. Okay, let's go ahead and run a speed test. And we're at 90%. So essentially no difference. It was 89 before, now it's 90, even better. The one thing it doesn't have that I did wish it has, so if we go to settings, internet, usually here with all the other Unify consoles or most of the other ones, you would have WAN failover. So you can have two internet service providers. The, the, the Unify console itself easily does failover. So like within a couple seconds, you won't even notice it. If your primary internet service goes down, it can enable the secondary one to work. So this does not have that built in. If you do want failover, then you can still have that, but that's only with Unify's LTE backup device. So that uses AT&T's internet. It costs $200. You plug it into the Unify Express here, and that gives you that failover. So if your primary internet goes down, it can fail over to that AT&T internet. And there's a lot more features I can show you here, of course, with like the firewall that we mentioned. And if I click on Unify devices, I have the older Unify Express with Wi-Fi 6 that I also connected here, and it's meshing me it's wirelessly. There's no cable connecting it back to the Express 7, and it has a pretty good signal there. You can also look at topology here, so everything that I have connected so far. And the final question is, is this the unified gateway for you? So this UX7 uh, is just aesthetically even just pleasing, even if it's, you're using it only as a access point. So if you're going to put it on a tabletop somewhere here, you know, on a shelf, at your TV console, someone's desk, this is a great unit for that. And if you just want to, you know, kind of dip your toes into the Unify ecosystem, Right, this runs the network application for you and you have a small space right like we see here even something up to 1500 square feet it should cover that pretty well and you could mesh these units uh, if i didn't mention that already but you can mesh these wirelessly so two three units you can cover up to 4500 square feet but at 199 so 200 dollars to get a nice wi-fi 7 gateway i don't know where else you can find something like that and especially what makes this worthwhile is unifies network unify os and that whole dashboard if you do want to buy the express 7 it's linked in the video description down below but first you really should compare it to the original ux with the wi-fi 6 and possibly the udr 7 and if you found this video helpful so far please like and subscribe and let's look at the original ux the original Express or UX here, it's, I think it still has its place, which it's still in the Unify store here. So it's $50 less, okay, $149. And this really puts it uh, as the least expensive Unify gateway you can get. It's just, it's not Wi-Fi 7, right? The Express 7 is the cheapest one, but this one is truly the most affordable one. It's just, it has only one gigabit Ethernet ports on here. It's also literally just smaller. So that's the Express 7 at the bottom there and the UX at the top. Very similar port layout as well. And the reasons why you might want to go with this one, A, it's $50 less. It also consumes about half the power. So just 
it's like 10 watts instead of the 22 watts. So if you're going mobile with it, like you're pairing it with a Starlink, it's running off of battery power, then that really matters because A, you don't have internet speeds also above one gigabit, so that doesn't matter for you. And this guy can handle it. And as I mentioned previously, it doesn't have intrusion prevention built into it like the Express 7, but you can use it still in a very similar way where one is a gateway and you can mesh other units to it. Uh, similar, like it says here, 3,000, 4,500 square feet. Uh, really depends on your layout, honestly. If all that works for you, your internet speed is less than one gig, the only reason you might want to still jump to the new Express 7 is simply because it just works a lot faster. And that's you know why it has these vents. Uh, the processing on here is just better. Although, I mean, I can personally tell you I've deployed several of these for the past year. I have them personally in like two Airbnbs running, perfectly fine, no issue that whole time. So this still definitely has its place. If your budget allows for it and you want something more powerful, then really you're now looking at the Dream Router 7. So the UDR7 comes in at $279, so $80 more than the Unify Express 7. And really it has the same kind of processor brains as the Express 7, but it has the added PoE port and it can also run all the Unify applications. So today, and we'll look at this comparison chart here, I'll have it linked for you in the description as well. But as you can see here, this is the original Express UX7 and UDR7, the $279 one. And they can also run Protect, Access, Top, Connect. Protects for your security system, door access, uh, VoIP phones, uh, which is pretty good. You can use a business phone here. At the cheapest one is $10 a month. So that's pretty nice that you can do that all with the UDR7. So if you want more than the Express 7 can offer, I would go with the UDR7. And if you want a complete review, first look at the UDR7, all of its features, then click on this top video right here. Or if you're just getting started with Unify, then you'll want to watch this video down here where I walk you through first time if you're getting to Unify with the Unify Express. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.